Hello everyone, it's Dr. Joji Uffin Jr. Welcome to episode number 21 of Arkham Asylum Patient Files. Today's patient is yet another non-Batman villain. Leonard Snart, also known as Captain Cold. He's actually one of the Flash's villains. Yeah, the reason why we hauled non-Batman villains here in Arkham is because, well, they all suffer from something. They're all not... Everyone in Arkham is not even fit this and trial. For example, Michael Rory, a.k.a. Heatwave, another Flash villain, and good friends of Batman's resident Firefiend villain, Garfield Lens, a.k.a. Firefly, who I'll get to as, whom I'll, both of them I'll get to, is, is too unhinged to be put in a prison. Same with James Jesse, a.k.a. The Trickster, another one of the Flash villains, and Winslow Shot, a.k.a. The Toy Man, if you remember the, the one I did on him, are both too wild and kind of cuckoo. I could go on with this, but I don't want it to be too long. Now it's time to get into to the actual video itself. <clears throat> Snart apparently suffers from depression, but he has shown no signs of wanting to kill himself. He even takes comfort in his younger sister, Lisa, aka, AKA another one of our resident Flash villains here in Arkham, the Golden Glider. And but that doesn't mean Cold's completely heartless. He actually is good friends with our, with our resident Ice Team Supervillain for Batman, Victor Freeze, also known as Mister Freeze. Remember him? And and he, alongside his sister. Even team up with the Flash for on occasions. But enough of that. It's time to get into his story. <clears throat> Leonard Snart was born into a broken house full of abuse. He, alongside his sister, had to endure this because their mom, his mom, died giving birth to Lisa, and so they were left in the care of their, their deadbeat alcoholic father. And he abused them on a regular basis, just because he could. Yeah, it was on the grimy side of town. In Central City, in Key or Keystone, Flash's city. Where social services don't just waltz in and just take, a, take care of children and get them to foster parents. And Snarr became a career criminal. And he was caught by the Flash and sent to prison. However... When he was released, he stole the a cold gun plan blueprint and actually assembled it himself. The reason why I used a cold gun, not just like a, a gun gun, is because if if it's molecules become colder, they they become slower. So how can he fight the flash by slowing him down? Now that's cool. And most people just think he's just a poor Mr. Freeze substitute, but he has a very strong moral code. They and rules he never breaks. He never kills superheroes, cops, women, and children. And, and he, yes, he steals and kills, but he, and he only kills if it's a do or die situation. And never kills innocent bystanders. And he's an alpha male badass. And he leads to the roast because. Trickster's too wild, Heatwave's too unhinged, Sam Scudder, aka the Mirror Master, is too dumb, and and so on and so forth. And and if anyone uses drugs in the rogues, a group of of Central City and Keystone Cities, the two homes of the Flashes. If they use drugs like, like, I don't know. Cold says, makes him say no drugs. He wants them to remain sharp. And, um, and you couldn't really call him like a bad guy. He kind of, he's kind of like an anti-hero, an anti-villain. So, but he's still a villain. He still steals. So that's why he's a vil He's more of a villain than a hero. So, um, there you have it. That was the story of Leonard Snart, also known as Captain Cold. 
Next up, I'll do Michael Rory, aka Heatwave. So stay tuned for that. And as always, remember, y'all, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out, y'all.